because he's the cuter one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. When I was first approached about this, I said, you know what? I, I really want to go down and do this. I want to hear what this is because I knew it was going to be great. Uh, I love what you've done with the place. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I got to tell you, um, it's the kind of situation where I would have paid to be involved. As a matter of fact, I think I did pay. This is the studio base. <laughs> The electric bass, the studio bass, was absolutely amazing. It's very high tech in terms of the way it sounds. It sounds like a real bass. I can't, I can't wait to see the look on, you know, Stanley, Marcus, you know, all of them. Victor, they're gonna be so pissed. I have on pedals, I have set up um, different articulations. Okay. So on the sustain pedals, I've got um, slap, so I can go. The foot switch, you know, I wasn't sure. So I asked him a question when he first came out. I got yeah, a question. Sure. Uh, is, you got a lot of this stuff on in the pedals. Yes. You, have you, have, is there an option where sure. you can do this on with key? key switches? Absolutely. Yeah, as well, both I was pleased enough to find out that it was possible to do that. You know, and that was on the spot. This was not planned. He just said, yeah, I take this and you go here and I'll show you how quickly you can change it. You know, the other, if, you, if you play hard, you know, like, Bob, then yeah. is that a I've possibility? Got, I've got Does, that too. Look, I'm, look at this guy. Yes, there's like, more. <laughs> he's managed to create something that's flexible and is very playable. That's the great thing about his stuff is that it seems like he looks at it from a performer standpoint. <laughs> good feature on this instrument is the fact that taking two notes, I think up to a major third or minor third, you can actually slide up to those notes by holding one note down and, and sliding up to the next note. That's very cool because then it's very natural and real. We have the same mechanics that are involved in natural bass playing. It allows you as a keyboard player to totally get in that character. The acoustic bass is actually a great instrument, but uh, virtually to make a great reproduction of that instrument is, has got to be a huge challenge. You know, and then to make the instrument flexible where it's playable as well has got to be another immense challenge. And I think that's something that's actually been accomplished here. There were people in the playback here who were saying they could watch me play, but then when they stopped watching me play, they ceased to realize that it was actually a keyboard player playing, and that's some serious stuff right there. As a keyboard player, I've never played the Chapman stick. However, I played with a bass player that played the stick. This has gone, I think, a step further by myself and, and Greg Fillingains playing together, you know, with like, like a lead sound and then an accompaniment sound with the bass. We were able to, to delve into some other areas that I don't even think a Chapman stick might be able to do, you know, which is very cool. It really brings out the musicianship in you. The feeling in your fingers, you really forget that you're playing a keyboard, you know, and, um, because of, of what you're listening to, you just you just approach it a completely different way. You know, you approach it like a bass player, which is the whole point. <laughs> the acoustic bass, the Chapman stick, and the the studio bass, all three of those instruments have that same interesting quality about it is that they sound so good that they make you want to play. That's the, the great thing about uh, not only these instruments, but really I think about this company. Lo and behold, boom, trillion. It's awesome, it really is fantastic. I'm gonna do a solo bass album. That's what I'm gonna do, it's just Greg Fillingain's solo bass. I'd never see that coming. Yeah. <laughs>
everything that comes out of this company seems to be great. It really does. This was a wonderful day to come in and, and hear some, some new instruments, have fun, just jamming, you know, had a nice lunch. I mean, what, what more can you ask? Music, food, and now a little wine. I just want to piss off all my bass player friends. I just want to take it, man, and just make them mad. You know, everybody, all of them, man. Just line them up and say, Stanley, this is for you. Uh, you know, Reggie Hamilton's for you. Reggie McBride, this is for you. Uh, Marcus Miller, especially, this is really for you. Just, you just line them all up and just piss them off, you know. I'm going to get them, man. I'm going to call them up and say, you know what, bro? It's been nice, but uh, I just don't need you anymore, quite frankly, because I got, uh, I got a trillion, man, and we are like this, you know. So you better learn keyboards, bro. Better get something together because it's over.